Good morning, good morning. One of my favorite days of the week is a wonderful Wednesday. Because this is the day I get to do Bible study with one of my bestest friends in the whole world. Debbie will be coming on shortly. I'm Elizabeth Inman. This is Dream Big Today Bible Studies. We read all the way through the Bible in a year. Be sure and put your prayer requests down in the comments with us. So happy to have you guys on. Bright and, bright and early. See, bright, bright eyed and bushy tailed, I think is what my daddy used to say. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. Here you guys are, boy, bright and early, coming on strong this morning. <laughs> Don has already got that note in there, that reminder for us to put our prayer requests in. Cheryl, it always makes me happy to see you on with us. It makes me happy to see everybody on. But I'll tell you what, Cheryl and I went to grade school together. That's dating us, girl. I'm just saying, really me more than you, but. <laughs> There's Debbie coming on. Here we go. I'm going to punch the button. Debbie's already told me she has a big nugget for us today. Can't wait to hear. Here we go. Hi. <laughs> well, it won't be long and our app will be up and running. We just got to figure out what's it called? It's called the encoding. When we figure out the encoding, we won't have to do that anymore. Yeah. Me too. We're just looking for an extra 24 hours in a day and Mm -hmm. Leslie and Donna and you and I will take that extra 24 hours in one day and we're going to we're going to pray in tongues and we're going to hear the Holy Spirit guide us and how to do that encoding. God multiplies time. That's right. That's right. And we have the mind of Christ there isn't anything we can't do. Oh, it, it is. That's right. Yes. I know, I know. Jada, good morning, Jada. So good to see you and Jana. Oh. Debbie, I could be so distracted telling all these beautiful people good morning this morning, but I won't because I want to hear your nugget this morning. Well, yeah, Eat the sandwiches, yes. water, and you just sit down and get just ready. Get prepared for the day. That's right. Because Elizabeth and I are not going to finish this in her. That's right. So, just <laughs> hang on. Just hang on. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> It is. So it is. It is so important. We're I about like to fill out. Much. We're about to get. No, we're not completely full in this prayer journal. But when I bought this prayer journal, I thought, my goodness, this will last forever. It's about this thick. It's a great big thick prayer journal. But we're, man, we just do one page a day and we're about. But we're on day 102, Debbie. This year is flying by, but but we can't. I can't get distracted. We've got nuggets to talk about. Got, Joshua, Joshua, and the and the and the Israelites. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> Mine too. 
Me too. I know. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. God spoke to him. And if we jump back to, uh, I think it was in chapter five, he says, I'm going to be with you too. That's and right. And so I have to thank you for that boost. But my nugget today, I think it started in the first chapter. So I didn't even, I didn't even try to think it. I just stopped and got it out. Let me find a scripture really, really quick to go along with that. But uh, get to Second Corinthians. Uh, So, uh, Israelites, it had been uh, circumcised, and that was the deal. You had to be set apart. And so that's all done. Okay. And I had to highlight it until yesterday. Then the Lord said to Joshua, today, That's right. I woke up this morning um, bright and early around three something and got up and grabbed my phone, of course, and flipped into Facebook as I do when I can't sleep. And um, I saw a, a post that said, good morning, the sun is rising. Another offer, God has given us another opportunity to create a great life. Uh, something along those lines to create a great life. It's a clean slate. Make this a great life today. And I just thought, wow. You know, of course, the the scripture came to me about his mercies are new every day. And and yes. and the truth is that every day we start with a clean slate. And then I opened up and I've got the same scripture highlighted. Uh, from prior years, even it, it's it's from way back. I think 2016 is the color that I've got that same one. And it I mean, it was the same message that you got. And I got to thinking about how I knew I was reading today's scriptures with my heart. I knew God was speaking to me. Yes, I read the physical scriptures today, but today God spoke to me about how that circumcision 
was a physical representation about how he takes away all of the things that are not of him. And he, and he lets us start brand new, brand new. It's as though he just scrapes away everything from the past and he lets us start fresh every single day. And it's like, wow, wow. But then he also, I mean, here they are, they've crossed over. They've crossed over and they're facing their first city that they know God, they, they know they're supposed to take Jericho. But, you know, and, and yet they had to go through the circumcision and there was a little bit of pain involved in that, but it represented the freshness, the newness of this new land they were in. But then right there in front of them, they were battered down in this I mean, they were batted down. They were battered down. They, I mean, they were hunkered down. They were fortified. You weren't going to get into Jericho. I mean, yep. they Jericho, the people of Jericho had heard that they had crossed the Jordan River on dry ground. The, remember, the Jordan River was was flooded. It was yeah. they it was an impossible thing that happened that the Israelites, they knew God was on the Israelite side. And the Israelites are looking at this impossible situation in front of them. And God told them that he had already given them that city before the battle ever started. I don't know, Debbie, yeah. something happened to me at three o'clock in the morning this morning. Something happened to me in, in all of the battles of this life. I got one of those phone calls from one of my kids yesterday. It's just one of those phone calls that one of my adult kids dealing with a situation with children that, you know, it's just, it's one of those ones that'll make you just drop to your knees and pray, oh Lord, they need your help. God, help my, my son, help my grandchildren, help, help the situation with my grandchildren. It's, it's just one of those situations, not a life and death situation, but, yeah. but one of those heart wrenching, oh, if you could take it away, you'd take it away situations, yeah. you know, that's going on. That's brand new as of yesterday. And, you know, and then, oh my goodness, you know, the battles of being a, a business owner, the battles of owning and running a ministry, you know, Debbie, you, right. you know, you and I having some text messages back and forth this week, we had a big meeting on Friday and, you know, the encoding for going live on five or six platforms and got to figure that out. And, you know, let's just use that. I mean, I don't even know what in, I can't, I cannot define, I cannot give you Debbie Nolan the definition of what encoding means to go live on Twitter, right. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Right. I don't even know the other platforms. I, I can't define that for you. And yet, yeah. as the leader of this ministry, we got to figure out how to do an encoder. I, right. I, I don't know what it is. But you know what? This morning, whether it's the situation with my adult child and my grandchildren, whether it is the situation in the business that I'm being asked and really, you know, pushed into situations that are unknown to me mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the business world, situations that I've never done this before um, or into these situations in the ministry or you, I mean, you guys fill in the blanks for you. I read yeah. this today yeah. about how, you know, the circumcision happens and no matter how many times I've tried encoding before, because I, I haven't even told you and Leslie and Donna, how many encoders I've paid for in the past programs that I've paid for. I'm not going to tell you how many free ones I've downloaded in the past. Right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to mention that because that's been circumcised off of me. <laughs> that's in the past. The shame of not being able to make those work have, is behind me. Today's a new day. 
the, the anointing is fresh. I have the mind of Christ. And in today's reading, God told Joshua and the Israelites, you see that city up ahead, that fortified with a fort, with the walls around yeah. it. That city is yours. I've given it to you. Whatever battle you're facing, I've gone before you. I fought the fight. All you have to do this day is trust me. Yeah. right yeah going what are we doing yep that's right I, I would have said, Debbie, Debbie, did Joshua just say, did he just say, oh, and by the way, Debbie, as I'm whispering to you saying, did Joshua just say we have to march? And you would have went around and you would have looked at me and you would have went, shh, 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 we're not supposed to say nothing. Because that was the instructions. Shh, shh, say nothing. <laughs> They just, they just keep doing it. But, you know, as they walked through, they flew it. They saw that flight coming out the window. And, and they saw this, you know, two or three story level of the wall. And, and on top of that, you know what? I could walk around my house seven times a day and see what I'm doing. Even if I said, I could get out of here. This took the drugs. They had it's to it. get out and they had to eat every day. They had to when they, they, had to do it. When they and saw they nothing, Debbie, they saw not one, not one brick fell when, the first yeah. time they walked around. They saw no results in their first trip around and they had to do that would be, it. That would be like us walking some Do you know how many people, Debbie, right now today that I know that their adult children are fighting and they won't speak to each other and they couldn't have Easter Sunday together because their adult kids can't be in the same house together? I, I, I know more than I care to say that their adult kids are fighting and they couldn't have Easter Sunday together because the adult kids can't be together. Do you know that that looks like that fortified city of Jericho standing out in front of them, that there's no way marching around that city is going to bring those walls down. There are marriages that are, that it looks as though they're batted down, ready for the divorce. And there's no way there are, diagnoses that have come out from the doctor's offices. There are near bam bankruptcy situations. There is debt that God has spoken and said, uh, we want you debt free. God says, pay off that mortgage. You're going to be debt free. God has said, trust me in this situation. And all yeah. we can see is the city of Jericho in front of us thinking, and, and, and then, and then, we say, well, God, how is that going to happen? I don't even know what that looks like. And all we hear him say is, trust me. Trust me. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, they, 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 they
That's right. That's right. That's right. And there's there's a way to spiritually read this book. You read it with your heart. I mean, go ahead and read the fun historical stories. Go ahead and 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 look up what the words mean and what the different different verses that goes along with it. But at some point in time, pick it back up and say, Lord, how does this apply to my situation today? Spiritually speak to me, Father. What is the spiritual meaning for this for me today? And I'm telling you, he'll do that for you. On this particular season, it's when I was doing community meetings for the postal service because we were possibly going to close down some post offices. Not fun. I remember those days. And so, as I began to start talking to them, so most of this I've got my plane all lined up. And nobody can see that well. There, it was a battle. And and I thought, why is this this way? Because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Well, in the reading, whenever Josh went back to thirteen, he looked up and saw a man standing in front of the sword and standing Josh and went up to him and said, Are you friend of the Bible? I don't think it is. But um uh man said neither. I mean like wow. What is that? What does that mean? And that, that came to me during that time because I couldn't understand this. In fact, one of our meetings with like so many people, it was in a church because that was the biggest building to have. I'm standing up here where Cashman's standing. There's all of these people out there like telling them. Well, the pastor that we were done and leaving and he kind of thanked me for this and he said, I just wanted you to know that we joined in prayer before you came today. And I thought, on my way home. You for me. And I in my spirit I heard him say Yes. Yeah. And what I learned is that you don't present what you're supposed to present, they present what they're supposed to present, and then let the Lord take Amen. Amen. So what do you to do? This is what we do, what God wants us to do. That's right. He's a to go in that way. I can't mess it up, so I just have to know my failure to stop. I get to do what I'm supposed to do this time. That's right. That's such a good word for whatever your situation is today. And then I love it. They were to be quiet. They weren't they weren't allowed to say anything as they marched around until Joshua gave the word. And then they were to shout. And what one of my my notes in my column was is that faith is voice activated. Mm -hmm. Faith is voice oh. activated. It's an action. It's an action. <laughs> You've got to step. Speaking it, stepping into that. Now, it's not going to be the same as it was. It's holy. And it's all a, it's such a, Amazing miracle that all of this took place, and we were all in the house. It was a whole lot. Of, the temperatures that day, and I tell you, that's not the right thing. Just to make sure that all the things are going to be trouble. But you know, there was misery involved, there were windows involved, and they can't speak, and they're just about to bust. Mm -hmm. And then the world came. Yes. And yeah. what they saw. And, and so amazed at what they saw. And then the next thing you know, we're in another chapter. And not only are the Israelites terrified, but Joshua is scared to death. Just that fast. That fast. Does it take, I mean, and oh my gosh, I saw myself in that. We go from one glory to another glory to into fear. And it's just like, Wow, how soon we forget. 
how soon we forget. He he writes it down for us so that we can mm -hmm. see what our tendencies are. My people perish for lack of knowledge. The knowledge is, is that we will have this tendency to go from one major victory to another major victory right into paralyzing fear. And then all of a sudden we realize we don't have to go into paralyzing fear. We can just go from faith to faith to faith. When we know the enemy and we understand how that enemy works, when the fear is there in front of us, we can then stand up in authority and say, not today, not today. No, 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 no. I remember when, and my God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He, he, he fought that battle for me then. He'll fight that battle for me today. And I choose to trust. That's how come it's so important to me to situations and the miracles that happen because what happens is after the then they can start reasoning it out and putting it to mind that this is it would have happened to anybody so I feel when in the moment we know that there was no way that it was it was God if you tend to forget some of the details if you don't have it journaled and in your thankful journal yeah. In your in your devotional journal, you can remember how intense it was. Yes. And then you can apply that obedience and that encouragement and that encouragement and that trust all the way to the moment. This day, when I'm facing something, I just I just think, man, I can't wait to see how God works this out for me because it got my yeah. That's right. Oh, man, it's so good, Debbie. I mean, what you said right there is so powerful. Uh, it's out of my hands. It's all him. I give up my right to determine what the outcome is supposed to look like. It'll look like exactly what God wants it to look like. I, I give up all rights to think it's supposed to look like my agenda, that that I, I, I thought it was supposed to look like this when all along God wanted it to look like this. And then, and, and you know, I, I thought I was supposed to, but God's plan was, and his ways are always better than my ways. We talked about that, didn't we? We talked about that. You do. And I said, well, I didn't know. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting back saying, okay, you got that you got this mission for me. I'm going to pray and just trust, obey, endure, and have faith that it will work out like this. Right. It's supposed to. That's right. That's right. Debbie and I. 20 years ago, talked about, well, one of these days when we retire, we're just going to sit on the porch together in our little rockers and we'll just be rocking away together. And then, you know, Debbie is on, you know, my leadership uh, uh, team for this ministry and Debbie's on a board for a faith-based counseling center there in her city. And Debbie, it, you know, does Bible study for another group. And she, I mean, just a number of things. And then lo and behold, Debbie got another honor just this week. Um, she got asked to be on an, an I, I'm not trying to let the cat out of the bag at all, but I mean, she just got another honor piled on her that is greater probably than all of those put together. And I'm so proud of her. And I mean, God just, I mean, our promotions come from God and and yeah. and the recognition yes. comes from God. That that's yeah. that's the best part is that 
when it comes from him, there's, mm -hmm. there's no greater honor. And, and it's all from trusting him, from trusting mm -hmm. him. And here's the deal. When the Israelites got up to the banks of that swollen river, the Jordan, right. and, it, and it was yeah. at flood stage, they couldn't see the city of Jericho. It wasn't right. within their sight. They yeah. couldn't see. They were not able to see the victory of that first fallen city at their mm -hmm. hands. They didn't know that was what was on their horizon. Debbie did not know last Friday when she accepted mm -hmm. the position of chief financial officer for Elizabeth Inman Ministries and we went down to mm -hmm. the bank and made that official, Debbie did not know that the following week that she would be bestowed this amazing honor that was given to her this week that is so far mm -hmm. beyond CFO of little old Elizabeth Inman <laughs> Ministries. She didn't know that. But you know what? In between that Friday and was it yesterday or day before, whenever that came, Debbie, yeah, yeah, Debbie yeah. went through some major resistance. She had to put her foot in that swollen river and she right. felt the swirling waters. And, and her words to me was, I went into self inventory mode <laughs> and, and, and the enemy was on her shoulders, just saying things in her ear. And, and Debbie knew how to go self. Uh, so go directly Christ centered. And she took it to the source. Jesus, mm -hmm. speak to me. Holy Spirit, speak to me. Mm -hmm. And she and she settled it all with Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in her heart. And then she yeah. and so the the heart was circumcised. And and yes. as as she but and she as she made her heart, uh, you know, vulnerable. Lord, it, what is this? Mm -hmm. Then this honor was bestowed upon her. I mean, that's no coincidence. The timing of all that is no coincidence. If Debbie would have wallowed in self-pity, if Debbie would have picked up an offense uh, in those moments and said, I'm done with this, by golly, I heard what I heard. I saw what I saw. I'm, I'm ready for battle. If she had done that, that last honor would have gone, would just went poof. It would have just been gone. I know it would have. I mean, that's how things yeah. work in the spirit world. And, but she didn't, she went in love right here to where the Holy Spirit lives and said, Father, what do you want me to know? Mm -hmm. right. Yes, yes, yes. I have to tell you some more about that. It's all you can. It's, it's all you can. You too. I know. Amen. 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 So happy you guys joined us today and we look forward yes. to many more nuggets and there'll be a new nugget today. <laughs> oh, am I doing it today? I guess I better check my calendar. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Have a wonderful Bye -bye. Wednesday. Bye-bye.